Hi, I'm Dr. Jewel Williams, and I will be facilitating you through this course, um, Biblical Concepts of Leadership. So this course is going to take you, the student, through the concepts of leadership in the context of scripture. And so we're going to be looking at what it means to be a leader, and we're going to look at from also from a biblical perspective. And so the ob objective is for you to apply the concepts from both a personal and a career goal. And so I'm excited uh, to, uh, with you, I'm excited and expecting you to uh, participate and be active inside of the course. Please look at all of the rubrics around the grading. There's one in the discussions, and so there, this allows you to see exactly what I'm looking for, what the school standards are, and, and this will help you. You won't be surprised in terms of what grading you get if you were following those uh, guidelines. And so you'll have the rubrics for both the discussions as well as for the assignments. If there's any questions you have, please feel free to reach out to me. You can reach me uh, and my number is in the course and my office hours as well. So you can reach me at that number. And if you call and, and you don't get me, I could be on another um, call. So please leave a voicemail and I will definitely call you back. Or you can email me and my email information, you can email me from the course. Additionally, inside of the course, you will find in the discussion area, my virtual office. So you can ask some questions, especially general questions about the course. You can ask me in that area, which is great because other students may have the same question. This way they can all see what the answers are. I want you to remember to read the CAGS policy and resources a document that's located in the courses document section under the resource content. And so read about the late policies, the honesty and integrity section of the uh, document as well. And I'm going to follow the late policy when grading. So if you have any questions about that, you can always ask. Uh, but, but also realize that things are unforeseen. We don't always expect uh, we don't always have control, rather, of when things will happen or how they will happen. But as soon as you know that you won't be able to get that information or that work in, please make sure that you reach out to me and I am willing to work with you in, in getting any late work in and making sure that your grades are not um, adversely affected by that. Also, in week one, the assessment is there's an assessment that you need to do, and it does cost ten dollars. And so, I just want you to know it's important that you don't uh, overlook that or that you don't take it because it's going to help you. Um, it follows the course material exactly, and so you really do need to take that assessment. Um, if you're having any difficulty with that. Um, taking that at the moment or at the time, please reach out to me and let's talk about it and we'll see what we can do. But it is really important that you do take that assessment. And additionally, as we, we walk through this course, um, I'm going to enjoy even sharing some of my doctoral work with you. I did my work around the whole servant leader leading from the inside out. And so in our discussions, I'm going to share some of the things around um, my work in uh, to just I feel to enhance what we're doing. So I'm excited, um, you know, uh, to to facilitate you in this. And there, I just want you to do two things for me. I've done this even as when I was a student at MacU through all of my college, you know, pursuits. Even now, I still do this. I ask myself two questions with whatever I'm doing. So if you're reading your textbook, ask God the question of what does He want you to learn about Him. And what does he want you to learn about himself, uh, about yourself? Because one of the things is everything that you do, it does matter. There's something God wants you to learn about you and it's something he wants you to understand about him. And so just make that part of your pursuit as we go through this time together. So again, I'm excited uh, to be doing, to walk through this five weeks with you. It's going to go quick, but I'm excited for the journey. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for each of your, your sons and daughters that have come to partner in this time with MacU for their education. And Father, we pray that your blessings be released to them. Help them to grow into the leaders that you want them to so they can be whole, fully equipped and able to do the, the work that you have put in their hands. Help them to not get discouraged. Bless their families because this is a sacrifice that they give 
give up to be able to come and to do this work. So we just thank you in advance for how you're going to help each of them in this journey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.